This is a banned Nalgene water bottle. It may look like a regular Nalgene water bottle, but it's actually made with BPA. That's right, the fear-inducing acronym that stands for bisphenol A. This particular bottle came out before Nalgene and every other water bottle brand in the world made their bottles BPA-free. And in this video, I'm going to test two used Nalgenes that I got from eBay in daily use durability tests and also a drop test because today I wanna to find out if old Nalgene water bottles are really as durable as people think they are. A few months ago, I posted a video comparing the new Yeti Yonder water bottle that looks a lot like the Nalgene to the classic Nalgene water bottle. And in my test, which I've linked below, I conducted a drop test. I filled each bottle with water and going up at one foot intervals, I dropped each bottle consecutively. To my surprise and the whole internet, the Nalgene lost the battle early, like very early. The Yeti Yonder was so much more durable than the Nalgene that I had to stand on the roof of my truck to get to a height where the bottle would actually break. And the internet went nuts. The video I posted was flooded with comments about how Nalgenes are indestructible, or how my test was rigged, or how they dropped their Nalgene off of a 10-story building and it miraculously survived. I mean, everybody has that one story of how they dropped their Nalgene from the top of a mo Oh gosh, jeez. And it's still good. <sighs> there were also a number of comments talking about how since Nalgene started making their bottles BPA free, the durability has gone down. They're just not like what they used to be. BPA has been proven in scientific studies as a harmful compound and not something that I want to ingest. It seems like a small price to pay for a bottle that still is incredibly durable. I've had my Nalgene for years, dropping it on cliffs and dropping it when I go hiking, and it still works every single time. Scientists have also linked that more BPA leaches out of plastic products when they are subject to heat which I find particularly interesting because one of the most common non-drinking water Nalgene uses in the outdoors is filling it with boiling water and stuffing it in your sleeping bag when you want some extra warmth on a chilly night. I've certainly done that before and it's made a world of a difference when it's freezing cold outside. But when researching this story, I noticed that Nalgene does not list the ability to store boiling water on its website as one of the features of their classic Nalgene water bottle. Nowhere on the page Age, can you find any mention of boiling water at all? It seems the brand might be concerned about the potential effects of pouring boiling water into a plastic container, even if their bottles are BPA free. I also want to point out that in 2020, Nalgene started making its bottles out of recycled material. This could also be a link to a decrease in durability. And that brings us to right now, where I have bought two Nalgenes made from before 2008, when Nalgene stopped using BPA in its bottle. So I can find out if they really are more durable with that magical compound bisphenol A. So you may be wondering, how do I know these water bottles have BPA in them? By looking at the logos. Hey, this one seems to be in pretty good shape. So you see this logo here, how it has that Times New Roman font on it? Yeah, when Nalgene decided to start making water bottles that were BPA free, they went through a major rebrand and they started making water bottles that had a totally different logo than what you see here. For my first test, I wanna see how the Nalgene compares in real world scenarios. And then later I'll do a side-by-side -side drop test. In both of my tests, I'm gonna compare an old Nalgene that is made with BPA with a current Nalgene that's BPA free. So I'm currently dragging both water bottles behind me and I'm hoping this simulates some real world use. But what I think dragging accomplishes in a very exaggerated way is repeatedly setting your Nalgene down. Maybe it scuffs up against the side of a wall when you're out rock climbing. So I'm gonna drag these on the ground back and forth for the next couple of minutes and see how they do to scuffing and abrasion in this test. Okay, so they've only been going for about a minute, but I wanna give you a quick update on how they look. So as you can see, they are pretty scratched up. And this isn't just dust on the bottle, like I can try to wipe it away and it is very dusty. All right, done with the dragging test and as you can see, they are so scuffed up, um, but they kind of look like they did after one minute into the test. They're both still holding water just fine um, with no leaks. 
and no real damage. So far, I would say they perform fairly equally when it comes to the abrasion test. Before I figure out which water bottle is more durable, I mentioned earlier how Nalgene did not post anything on their website about the ability to pour boiling water in their water bottles. Now, Yeti similarly does not recommend pouring boiling water into its water bottles as well. Both of these bottles are BPA free. I find it peculiar that both of these brands do not want you pouring boiling water into their water bottles if they are BPA free and supposedly safe to drink. And I think I have an idea why these brands are keeping this feature away. In my research, I found what one scientist called chemical whack-a-mole. Basically, when a chemical is found to be harmful in a product like a water bottle, in this case BPA, they will replace it with something else, BPS in most cases. Now. Nalgene markets its product as both BPA and BPS free, but I think the idea remains. They're taking out a chemical and replacing it with something that's new to the market that doesn't have as much testing on it. Listen to how this scientist describes what's going on. We allow companies to put these chemicals in commerce, and then if we, the scientists, find out it's harmful, they take it out. But what happens is they often replace the toxic chemical with a chemical cousin that's just as toxic. And we call this chemical whack-a-mole. Now, I thought that was pretty interesting. You can find this whole video in the link in the description. Nalgene currently uses Eastman Triton Renew for its compound in its Nalgene water bottle. And while this compound is BPA and BPS free, a study published in 2017 in Nature found that the Eastman Triton copolyester contained BHPF in two of its bottles. It didn't say what those two water bottles were or if those water bottles were sold in the US, but it was detected. BHPF is not as popularized as BPA or BPS, but there have been studies performed on mice that show that it can be harmful. Who is to say what studies in the future will emerge around the compound that Nalgene uses at the moment? Maybe Yeti and Nalgene are being cautious with what they display on the website because they know that, you know, years down the road when studies do emerge about what they're using being potentially hazardous, they know that they have their bases covered because they never told anybody to pour boiling water into their bottles and potentially increase chemicals leaching out of their bottles. Time will tell if they change their formula again in the future, but I just thought it was interesting that they still don't want you pouring boiling water in your bottles. Now, back to the drop test. I'm going to test an old Nalgene here with a new Nalgene and we're gonna go up at one foot intervals and see which one is more durable. This one was basically in mint condition. It's in really good shape. Oh! <laughs> oh! Okay. <laughs> the new Nalgene cracked. Old Nalgene's still going strong. <laughs> okay, so I'm testing the other Nalgene and it's doing a pretty good job. Um, we're at the same height that the other BPA Nalgene broke, and we're gonna have to go higher. Three, two, one, jump. Oh! oh. It's like it landed right on the lid. <laughs> of course, see here, the lid just broke and it's like the first time I throw it, of course it lands in the lid, but I don't know what to think. It was standing up to a lot of impacts from really high heights, comparable to what you'd find with the Yeti. And the BPA-free Nalgene that I destroyed earlier, it survived probably half of the height of what this Nalgene did. But then when I was testing the other Nalgene, that one lasted only about a foot taller than the BPA-free Nalgene. After my test, I don't think that I have a clear conclusion of if BPA-free Nalgenes are less durable than the old ones. Unfortunately, the two ones that I bought, one lasted just a foot higher than the BPA-free Nalgene, and so that was a little bit iffy. But then this one lasted 
probably twice as high as the BPA-free Nalgene in terms of how high I could drop it. And so I can't clearly state that one Nalgene was more durable than the other because ideally I would want to replicate this test. But as I mentioned earlier, finding old Nalgenes isn't exactly the easiest thing to do. So all I can think of is yes, maybe old Nalgenes are more durable than the new ones, but the new ones are still incredibly durable. And I think it's admirable that they've made them BPA free and out of recycled material and they retain an extremely high durability. That is the end of my test. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe and thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time.